how would you like to play a game? I'd love it. This game is called Real or Fake. <laughs> I need, it just do you, you have to ask me a question? Where I'm going or no idea? Okay, so I'm gonna give you some news headlines. No, oh, okay. Some Florida man news headlines. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, and you gotta tell me if they're real or fake. All right, I'm down. And any that are real, I will expound upon and and give a a little a little gist of the story. Sounds good. Cool. All right. So the first one: Florida man claims alien diplomacy after being found building a spaceship in public park. <laughs> Going real. <laughs> that one is fake. Shit. Okay. However, don't let that deter you from guessing any of the other ones to be real. Okay. Florida man attempts to pay for diner meal with sand dollars, calls it beach currency. <laughs> Definitely real. <laughs> <laughs> that one is also fake. Okay. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just say real for all. <laughs> okay. They sound uh, they, so yeah. legit. Okay, keep going. The next one is Florida man arrested for crashing car into a mall, says he was trying to time travel. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> where was Marty from? Right. Is he at the Twin Pines? Uh, I'm going to say real. That is real. So, All right. Okay. A car crashed into a mall on North Davis Highway in Pensacola, Florida. When cops questioned the unidentified man driving the Dodge Challenger, he said he was trying to time travel when the incident occurred. Damn, he even crashed a nice car. Well, the next one is police say a Florida man with no arms and no legs is armed and on the run. <laughs> oh, uh, pl uh, please say it's real. It is real. <laughs> Florida police were looking for a person <laughs> suspected of an Florida police were looking for a person suspected of a horrible incident. Sean Petrozino, the suspect, is a quadruple amputee who lived with his parents after separating from his wife. The police warned the public, saying <laughs> Petrozino was armed <laughs> and on the run. <laughs> That's so good, dude. Uh, uh, the right. and, and on the run is what really and got on the me. Run, yeah, armed like the armed and part, on the run. I was like, that yeah. was funny. And on the run. Okay. I wanted to keep all of them, but I had like 40, so I, had to, I think I trimmed it down to like nine. Okay. The next one is... Florida man drives stolen truck to Space Force Base to warn of a battle between aliens and dragons. Ooh, aliens and dragons. I'm going to go fake. My first fake. That one is real. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Of Corey, jo is. Corey Johnson was charged with grand auto theft in July 2022. He stole whoa, 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 whoa. Who says grand auto theft? I think that's what it's actually called. I don't know. I guess Continue. authorities in, in Florida. So Corey Johnson was charged with grand auto <clears throat> theft in July 2022. He stole a Ford F-150 and drove it to a Space Force base to warn the government about mythical creatures. He told the authorities that U.S. aliens were fighting with Chinese dragons. <laughs> the fact that he specified their, uh, their the country of origin. Of those, right? yeah. <laughs> these, weren't, yeah, these weren't Malaysian dragons. These, these, these were Chinese dragons. These weren't regular dragons. <laughs> right. these, these were Chinese. <laughs> Chinese firebolt. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, the next one is Florida woman claims to have found the fountain of youth. Turns out to be a sprinkler. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we need to make... I wish I had, like, knew how to, like, animate things. Because I could just, like, like little make, like, little just animated like shorts. A... Yeah. And her just, like, like a dog putting her mouth over it, like, following it and biting <laughs> it, thinking she's going to get forever life. I might be able like... to find some. I'll see what I can find. Um, I'm going to go with that. It's got to be real. That one's fake. Damn it. Okay. That one's fake. Those um, are hysterical. So the next one we got is Florida man impersonating a police officer pulls over real cops. Real. It is real. Yeah. Matthew was Joseph. Was his name um, Jeremy? No, it DeWitt? was Matthew, Matthew Joseph Aris. Oh, okay. He was arrested April 2019 after impersonating a police officer, unknowingly stopped an undercover cop who later called 911 to inform the real cops who apprehended him. Okay, okay. Because I, I definitely go through, like, YouTube rabbit holes of, you know, you I'll be watching another individual that did this. I'll be watching, like, cops or, like, live PD or something. And, yeah, it's like, watch this. And there's this guy in Orlando in Orange County who's, like, he's been arrested, like, four or five times for impersonating police because he owns his own security company and they do, um, like, funeral processions and stuff like that. So he has vehicles and they wear gear and... You know, instead of red and blue lights, he has like orange and purple lights and he does all this stuff and they just keep arresting him. And every time they pull him over, they just yell out, just they, they already know him. 
And then he finally got arrested again for sexually assaulting a minor or something like that. And a little bit more. He, so yeah. And he got like, once they knew it was him, they were like, oh, maximum sentence. Like this guy, he's been giving us trouble for years and years. Interesting. Huh. Look him you up. remember uh, his name, J huh? Jeremy Jake DeWitt. DeWitt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That sounds like a dude that would do that. They, wait till you see him. You, yeah. should, you should check it out. It's pretty Gander funny. On him. Yeah, it's pretty funny. All right, I got two more. How many have we got, got right so far? Like one mm, or two? Half? Yeah, not even. Yeah. All right. Florida man arrested for trying to pawn stolen shark from local aquarium. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> All right, well, let, let's, let's start with the real or fake part. Um, yes. I'm going to say that it's fake. It is fake, which should eliminate Then I have less questions. Have. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And the last one is Florida man breaks into a house, cleans it, and leaves behind origami. Definitely real. Definitely real. In 2019, yeah. a man identified as Nate Roman from Marlboro, Massachusetts, reported a funny incident that left many shocked. He came home and found an intruder had entered his home and cleaned everything in the house, including spreading his... I'm assuming that's supposed to be bed. It says bead Including spreading, spreading his bed and scrubbing the toilets. What is even more crazy is that he left behind origami roses <laughs> on his toilet paper rolls just like your maid service would you know <laughs> hey man i was i was i was i was using your shitter and uh yeah i just wanted to apologize by putting a uh, yeah a, a little, little towel goose on your bed just want to leave you a little something yeah yeah so that's uh, i want to keep that one up because that's that's good i like that i was oh, just I dying you might give me the one um it's a real one it was a um, florida man hangs from Traffic was, light and, yeah, so and I, shits on cars as they I drive told you by. That. <laughs> that was one of those. Uh, it was like a Facebook post that was like Google Google your birthday and Florida man, and like <laughs> and like post the story that comes up. It was like yeah, and he was Florida naked man hangs doing from traffic it. sign or hangs from traffic light and shits on cars as they pass underneath. And I'm <laughs> like, you're just going to work. If there's just fucking corn cobs being dropped <laughs> on your windshield. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, man. Yeah. What a state we live in. What a what state. What a state. What a state. Man, oh man. As we both wear Maryland gear. I love it. It's too funny. But you know what? Every October to February, everyone wishes they were here. Well, that's why half the country moves, not half the country, but that's why everyone moves down here during that October to yeah. April, March, April. They're yep. just, because it, uh, honestly, it's not really great, great, great down here until like December through like right now, like mid-March is like the prime time yeah prime time like nothing above 75 nothing below 50 beautiful i just hate beautiful and i've always hated about down here that when i go to work in the morning i have to wear a jacket but when i leave i'm like sweating my ass off that's the only i'd rather that like than complain. yeah then oh, i'm i'm then leaving go to work at 3 p.m 20, get out of work at 40 yeah and i still have to clean off my windshield yeah, yeah. and wash my car every other day get all the salt off of it yeah yeah no. 